Hey there. I've recently been introduced to the idea of property managers and landlords creating an alternative to the traditional security deposit. And uh, this is a, a, an extremely interesting um, uh, new product in, and a new trend, in my opinion. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about what I see in the marketplace from an insurance standpoint. Now, there's basically two types of security deposit alternative um, that are out right now. And a, a lot of them are what you, we would call a surety. And a surety or a guarantor is a third party examining each renter individually and assuring the property manager or landlord that there are assets that can be seized in the event of damages or unpaid rent. So just to recap really quickly, the surety guarantees that there are assets that can be seized if the tenant doesn't pay rent or um, if they create, you know, uh, damage that would normally be uh, relied upon with a security deposit. So that's in lieu of them actually putting the, the additional month's rent, you know, two months rent to get in, that sort of thing. You have this surety service. The other thing that we're, I'm seeing is a true insurance product. Now the true insurance product provides coverage to the property manager uh, if the tenant creates that additional accidental damage or heavy wear and tear, filth, or unpaid rent due to, you know, skipping out on the last month or eviction. But because it's insurance, it does not require that the, um, the tenant themselves to have the assets to be seized. So a surety, let's say, let's just say you normally would have a $1,500 security deposit. With a surety, they would uh, guarantee the $1,500 and then pay the $1,500 to the property manager and then come around to the tenant with a $1,500 bill. Uh, I misspelled that, but with a $1,500 bill. With a, a true insurance product, it's just going to pay the $1,500. The tenant, you know, goes off on, you know, and is not responsible, essentially. Now, there is, you know, there's a premium that is paid with the true insurance uh, aspect of it. Surety, there's a fee that's uh, paid as well, but it's not premium, right? And the other thing with the true insurance product that uh, I'm seeing there's no individual qualification by each individual tenant. It's, uh, you know, mass underwriting based on the property manager's uh, policies and tenant screening procedures. So just to give you an idea, this is, you know, like a monthly fee that covers, you know, the costs associated with this is what the alternative is. And when, when somebody moves into one of your units, you say you can either give us a security deposit like you normally would, or you could pay us a fee on a monthly basis associated. And that fee is, um, you know, over the course of the lease would be much less than the security deposit, generally speaking. So, again, you know, the people in, the, in residential real estate, let me know what you're seeing here. I have a product that uh, we're going to be introducing and we're just starting to roll out. It's very exciting. I think we're it just it, it's brand new insurance products don't come around too often, I guess you could say. And what's really cool is then if you have the alternative uh, to the security deposit, you're not, as a property manager, you're not managing security deposits. You don't have the escrow account. You don't have to fight with the tenant at the end of the lease about what's going to be deducted and what's not. Either somebody else is doing that for you or there is no fight because you have insurance coverage to cover what security deposit would have normally covered anyway. So if you have any questions about this, if this is interesting to you, reach out to me. Google Nate Bunty, you'll find me. Thanks.